Hello and welcome back in a new video. Today we're going to be making a new slash command handler since the last one wasn't the best and everyone just requested a new better one. So, um, yeah, let's get into the video. So the code might be very different than the last one, alright? So for the people who doesn't know how to code or it's the first time watching me, so basically last time what I did is I created a Discord bot, just the start of it. So probably right now you're seeing a lot of stuff that you actually don't understand, like these. So let me just summarize it. So basically, I did a Mongo connection. Uh, I also did that in a previous video. I will leave the link for it in the description. It's the same exact way, nothing got updated. And I made a command handler, a message command handler, and I made a event handler, okay? These two, I already made them into another video as well. Um, so I'll leave the link for it also in the description. So the new thing here is the slash command handler. I updated it. It's not uh, the same one as before, all right? So, um, yeah, here we go. So let me start by explaining what is this. So, here let me put, yeah, slash command handler. First of all, I made a new collection calling client dot slash commands. That's the new collection. And then I went into the slash command uh, folder, which is this one. And then I told it to go for each folder inside of this folder, okay? which this line does, or like this one does. And then here, for each file, inside each folder, inside slash commands, all right, if there is an error, it's gonna return the error, and then it's gonna get the file without the .js at the end. And then if there is no files, it's gonna say can't, file, uh, can't find any commands. Basically, if there is no commands. And if there is commands, it will say that it's uh, it loaded that file, all right? So it's gonna say slash command handler, uh, like this dash or whatever it's called, load it in the file name command, okay? So and then for each file, it's gonna um, check if it's got the uh, help. Uh, there is like module. Uh, model export help all right so it's gonna check if it has it and the run okay I'll explain what does each one do so basically the run is the code uh, that runs whenever someone does the command like execute it okay and the help is basically creating the command itself all right so um, the help should have like some stuff here also this is not we don't need this um, <coughs> Alright, so we'll need name, description, and options, basically the basic um, command. So if there is no name, um, it will be the file's name. If there is no description, the description will be no description. And if there is no options, this will be the options, basically an empty array, because if there is no options, that's basically the default thing. And then it's gonna set it in the collection, and that's it. Now, if there is any errors, of course, it's going to return it. Amazing, alright. Moving on to the folder of slash commands. So, folder, and we're going to make a subfolder in it, basically test or like, um, like moderation, fun, stuff like that. And then you'll go to the file, and this is the structure we're searching for, basically, okay. Let me actually, okay, it's the same. Um... Matter of fact, before I go here, let me actually go to the events. And in the ready event, what we will do is this. Okay, so if you want to use it like for one gold, one server, so if you want to test it basically, what you're gonna do is this put this line, okay? Um, this is your server's ID. 
and if you want it to be a global use basically on all servers what you're gonna do is use that line but it takes quite a while all right it takes from 15 minutes to two hours okay depends so it takes that time to just set in all the servers using the global one so for testing we always use the per gold which is this one all right interesting so I'm going to the interaction create for, uh, event what we'll do is we'll go and get the collection and get the um inter the, the the command we used from the collection all right and then um yeah we're gonna basically run it that's it so here let me explain this mess all right let me actually put it sort of like this to explain it basically here we're just defining application command type all right and this will be used to identify the options in the slash command all right so basically there is options you can use in a slash command as example here let me show it to you here options you see this is an option this is it's, it's test so i'm just getting it from disco.js uh package or module however you want to call it and then let's actually skip the run let's go to help all right this is the structure of the slash command so basically now it's exactly like the old uh com the old uh, slash command handler but it's not having a different file alone this time we're gonna have in we're gonna have it in each file so it's not a big mess now it's, it's a bit organized now so name is gonna be ping all right description testing command and we'll add an option which will be named description and um, its description will, uh, sorry it's gonna be named test and the description will be test as well we can make it like um echo okay echo and adds um a string at the end of the message all right the type here as you can see is a string so types there is multiple types there is attachment, boolean, channel, integer, there is a lot, but we want the string, basically a message or like characters normally, and I don't want it to be required. Alright, that's for the help one, now for the run, basically what happens when you run the command. So, you will get first, you want to first check for the, um, the test, uh, test option we made, yeah and see if there is a test option so basically if some the person initiating the command did put uh, the test option or like did use it or not so if yes what you're gonna do is do this you're gonna reply pong two points uh, space and put whatever uh, the person put in the test else you're gonna just reply with pong let me remove this space so now let me run the bot all right Oh, by the way, and the source code in this server, and the source code also for these, are uh, like the old video is still also in the server, so don't worry about that. Moving here, YouTube tutorial testing. Here you can see echo. If I did hello world, okay, what happens here? Then we forgot to put something. Echo, hello, world. Yeah, let's see what's wrong here. So, FS. Oh, I see. When we changed the name of the option here, I, I forgot to change it from here too. This should be echo and not test. Like, the name here should be the same as here. So, we can tell which one we want to get yeah so if this is subscribe so the option is named subscribe so i need to put he subscribe if i want to get it all right ping echo subscribe amazing now if i did it alone without any options it should say pong only that's it you see very easy so that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed tell me your ideas in the comments and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it. And ciao.